labaran duniya labaru da dimdimin su babu bangaranci cikin gida da kasashen waje unity labaran duniya labaru da dimdimin su babu bangaranci cikin gida da kasashen waje Mas kallon tashar Unity TV Assalamu alaikum barkan mu da wannan lokaci da muke kawo muku labarai da farko ga muhimmin kanun su a cikin labaran namu ne za ku ji cewa tazi wato CBN ya janye dokar cazar kaso 0.25 a bankuna kungiyar kwada gota NLC za ta iya neman kari kan albashin naira 615 har ila za ku da cewa an sace iyalan jami'in custom a Abuja muka tsallaka ketare kuwa shugaban Iran ya rasu a hatsarin jirgin sama idan muka tsallaka ta mulukwa United ta sanya wasan farashi bayan da Ajax na nazari akan Ten Hag To kada labaran nan kenan domin samun cikin kunsu dake dake sunana Ummu Kulsum Abubakar Ibrahim Bankin Najeriya CBN ya soke sabon harajin tura kudi ta internet da ta bullo da shi a kwanakin baya a kwanakin baya ne CBN ya bullo da sabon haraji mai suna harajin tsaron internet na kashi 0.5 kan duk kudin da aka tura ta internet janye sabon harajin da ya jawa wato babban bankin kakkausar suka daga al'umar Najeriya na kunshe ne a cikin wata sanarwar da bankin ya fitar mai dauke da sa hannun cubu zo da FOB director sashin kula da tura kudade da kuma Mustafa Haruna director kula wato sashin kula da tsare tsaren kudade sanarwar na dauke da kwanakin wata shi wato kwanan wata shida ga watan nan na mayin shekarar 2024 ana iya tunawa wasu shugaban wato shugaban kasa Bola Ahmed Tunubu ya umarci CBN ya soke harajin wanda majalisar dokoki ta kasa ta kira da rashin tausaya wa yan Najeriya majalisar ta bayyana cewa babban bankin bai fahimci sashin dokar da yayi amfani da shi ba wajen bu wato bullo da sabon harajin dan haka ne ma majalisar wakilai ta umarci kwamitin da ya yi wa babban bankin karin haske akan tanadin dokar tsarin internet din Mata mai kin shugaban kasa kashin Shatima ya kaddama da shirin inganta ilimin secondary watan Asab a takaice wanda hukumar raya yankin Arewa maso gabas NEDC a takaice ke aiwatarwa domin shawo kan matsalolin da suka wato shafarkar ilimi a matakin secondary musamman magan chapter daga makarantar secondary a shirin Arewa maso gabas shirin Asab na da nufin inganta ilimi da koyar da sana'o'i ga dalibai da suka kammala karatun secondary a fadin jihohin Arewa maso gabas guda shida da yake kaddamar da shirin a gidan gwamnatin jihar Bauchi a rana Asabar mai taimakin shugaban kasa kashin Shatima ya jaddada muhimmiyar rawar da ilimin secondary tamkar wani tsanin bayan karatun primary ne yana mai bayyana kalubalan tarihin yankin na Arewa maso gabas wajen aiwatar da tsare tsaren ilimi bai daya da kuma shawo kan kalubalan da al'adu ke yi ga ilimin boko har ila yau Shatima ya yi ba wa gwamnonin shiyar bisa hadin kai da jajircewar su wajen inganta yankin inda ya yi ba da kokarin su na ganin an hada kai dan cike gibi a harkokin mulkin manajan daraktan hukumar ta NEDC Muhammad Ji Alkali ya yi karin haske kan manufofin shirin na Asab wadanda suka hada da inganta makarantun gaba da secondary da wato bin kasu sana'o'in hannu da kuma inganta kwarewar malamai kana alƙalin ya jaddada a niyyar shirin na mayar da hankali kan shirye-shiryen kimiyya da fasaha da injiniyanci da lissafi wato steam a takaice da kuma sadarwa wadanda ke da muhimmanci wajen bin kasa kirkire-kirkire da tunani mai zurfi a tsakanin matasa Kungiyar Kwadago a Najeriya ta NLC ta ce gwamnatin tarayya ta sake gayyatan su da su sake komawa teburin shawara danganin an warware ta kaddamar da bangarorin ke yi da juna kan batun albashi mafi karanci na ma'aikatan kasar nan na naira 615 a ranar 21 ga watan mayu ne 
ake sarun wato committee gwamnatin tarayya zai saki tattaunawa da wakilan kungiyoyin kwadago da suka hada da NLC da TUC bayan da wakilan su suka fice daga tattaunawar da aka yi a ranar 15 ga watan mayu Comrade Kabir Ado Minjibur wanda shine mataimakin shugaban kungiyar kwadago ta NLC a Nigeria ya shaida wa manema labarai cewar akwai yuwar su nemi karin kan abinda suka nema a farko kasancewar a lokacin da suka nemi karin zuwa naira 1615 gwamnati bata kara kudin wutar lantarki ba tun da farko kungiyoyin kwadagon san wato debarwa gwamnatin Najeriya wa adin 31 ga watan mayu akan tabiya musu bukatun su na karin albashi mafi karance Comrade Munjibur ya ce matsayar da za su cimma da bangaren gwamnati kafin wannan wa'adin ya danganta ne akan yanda gwamnatin tarayya ta dauki wannan tattaunawar da muhimmanci a tattaunawar da bangarorin biyu suka yi a baya gwamnatin tarayya ta yi wa kungiyoyin kwadagon ta yin albashi 48 a matsayin albashi mafi karance yayin da kamfanoni suka yi musu ta yin naira 54 abinda kuma ya sa kungiyoyin kwadago suka fusata tare da fucewa daga dakin taron bikin kammala karatun da yan secondary suka yi na zamani wadanda suka hada da tattaki da hawan dutse wata kafaci wacce idan ba a kula da ita ba za ta iya samu wato zama silar nuna wa yara hanyar shiga kungiyoyin asiri saboda haka akwai bukatar lokacin masurwa da tsaki sa da kai domin magance lamarin da yake bayyana haka a yayin taron masu makarantu ta principal din makarantun musulmi wanda kungiyar principal din makarantun musulmi wato Ipin Sirration Justa Arewa suka kira ajiya mai wato mai makarantai hikima group of schools imam AI Bello wanda shine mai jawabi a taron ya kafa hujja da zargin mutuwar wasu dalibai biyu hada da hadarin da aka samu a yayin tattakin bikin kammala karatun da daliban suka yi na shekarar da ta gabata Imam Bello ya bukaci daliban malamai iyaye malaman addini shugabannin tsaro da gwamnati akan sa'a kai su yi amfani da ikon su wurin tabbatar da sun magance matsalar kafin lamarin ya kara tabarbarewa kana malaman wato malama Maryam Ibrahim Yusuf da sunna Academy Ungwar Rimi da Mr Bashir Odunayo na Badar Science School and Dental Kali wadanda suka ce taron ya zo akan lokaci sun bukaci iyaye da lokacin masurwa da tsaki akan su bada hadin kai wurin shawo irin wannan matsalar wato naps wanda sun ci alwashin cewa za su je gidan radio za su sanar ma masu makarantu da shugabannin makarantu da su kansu dalibai akan duk wanda ya wannan za su hada shi da hukumar hukumar tsaro saboda su kama shi wannan a wance ke kuma mun amana da abin da suka ce za su yi na biyu kuma mu karan kanmu za mu rubuta ta wasika ta gargadi da duka shugabannin makarantu za mu bi su daya bayan daya domin mu gaya musu cewa ga wasika kuma ga abin da muka zo da shi idan da hali za mu je mu samu daliban nan masu fita saboda mu ma mu gargade su bisa wannan abubuwan da yake faru wannan shine hanyar tabiyar ka dauka Jami'in kungiyar Malam Awal Inwa Principal din Makarantar Rikos Community School ya bayyana shawarin da aka dauka akan lamarin ya kamata mu hada karfi da karfi da su wajewa mun tarbiyantar da yaran nan a hanyar da ta kamata dan cin amfanin su coming together as proprietor of school to see how do we talk to ourselves and how do we address all the stakeholders involved at the same time so that we can put an end to it to avoid our students our children being initiated into secret courts from secondary school advice to our stakeholders is that charity they say because at all parents should always be doing their own quota as a school owner as stakeholders within the school system i believe we are trying to do our best but it's a two-way program so when they contribute our own total quotas to 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 compare with our own we believe we achieve what we wanted and the government should always be supportive where necessary 
coming together as proprietor of school to see how do we talk to ourselves and how do we address all the stakeholders involved and at the same time so that we can put an end to it to avoid our students, our children being initiated into secret courts from secondary school. Should always be doing their own quota. As a school owner, as stakeholders within the school system, I believe we are trying to do our best. But it's a two-way program. So when they contribute their own total quotas to, to, to complement with our own, we believe we will achieve what we wanted. And the government should always be supportive where necessary. And as she jawab in Shogabon Quinjer Epim Skuma, principal in Makaranta Ismaila Idris Memorial School and Warimi Abubakar Yahya, Yati Sun Shiria, Tarin Nidio Mumbai, the Nasu Gudum Mower Gurin Ingata, Terbir Yara, Yati Saurang Ayukan Quinjer Singhata, Watuga Sawa Seni, Kara Ara, or Juna Seni, the Kanit Alabam Makarantum Musin Mead and El Krista, Domangara had a Kant Alabam, the Watuga Fasu, Si Karatu. Saboda su zamtu na gari wadanda za su kawo cigaba wa kasan nan da al'umma baki daya. Wasu yan ta'adda sun cace wato matar wani jami'in hukumar custom da ayansa uku da wani kanin sa a gidan su dake wato unguwar shagari kwatas dake dede dake Abuja. Wani dan banga ya shaidawa wakilin mu cewa yan bindigar sun shiga unguwar ne kai tsaye suka shiga gida wato gidan ma'aikatan suka yi awun gaba da iyalan sa da sanyin safiyar ranar Ladi wani taron da muka samu na tabbatar da cewa yan ta'addar sun sai wato sun saki matar jami'in custom din da ke da tsohon ciki amma sun tafi da yayan sa da kuma kanin mai gidan Dr. Alhasan Musa Baba Chukuri daga Cindukwa ya ce yan bindigar sun so su ƙara dibar wasu mutane a yankin sa amma suka tsere bayan barin wutan da jami'an tsaro suka yi musu a garin baba chukuri ya ce yan bindigar sun yi sansani a gefen dutsen zuba da da kauyen caci yayi kira ga hukumomi su yi ga wato gaggawar daukar mataki akan yan ta'addar tun kafin su ci karfin yankin su gagar kowa duk kokarin da wakilin mu yayi domin ji ta bakin mai magana da yawar rundunar yan sandar Abuja SP Jospin Ade domin ji ta bakin ta abin ya citura kakakin majalisar wakilai Abbas Tajuddin ya ba shugaban jam'iyyar APC na kasa Abdullahi Umar Ganduji shawara kan rikicin jam'iyyar su Abbas Tajuddin ya bukaci Ganduji da ya kafa kwamtocin sulhu da za su hada da ayyan jam'iyyar da ke rikici da juna a fadin kasar nan kakakin majalisar ya bayar da shawarar ne a yayin taron masu ruwa da saki na jam'iyyar APC a Kaduna a jiya Lahadi shatara ga watan mayan shekarar 2024 Abbas yayi nuni da cewa wasu ayyan jam'iyyar APC sun fasata domin haka akwai bukatar a sasan ta da su ta yanda jam'iyyar za ta zama tsintsiya madaurin ki daya kakakin majalisar ya kuma bukaci ganduje da yayi amfani da matsayin sa domin ganin an ba ayyan jam'iyyar APC a majalisa da za su iya saki kuma a ba su dama domin saki tsayawa takara a zaben shekarar 2027 ta idan muka tsallaka labarin kitare kuwa jami'an Iran sun ce shugaba Ibrahim Raisi da ministan harkokin wajen kasar Hussein Amir Abdullahi sarrasu a wani hatsarin jirgin sama mai saukar ungulu a wani yankin da ke kusa da kasan iyaka da wato wato Azerbaijan kafofin ya da labaran kasar sun ce an ga wato tarkacen jirgin a tsakanin wasu tsaunuka shugaban kungiyar agaji ta Red Cross Christian ta Iran Fir Hussein wato Fir Hussein ya ce masu aikin ceto sun nufi wurin wato tarkacen jirgin amma babu alamar akwai wadanda suka tsira sauran wadanda suke cikin jirgin sun hada da Ayatullah Muhammad Imam Musallacin Juma'a na Birnin Tabriz da Janar Malik Rahmati wato gwamnatin Lardin Gabashin Azerbaijan kamfanin dillancin labarai na Reuters ya ambato wani jami'in gwamnatin Iran na cewa jirgin ya kone Qurmuz kawo yanzu ba a san musababbin hadarin jirgin sama mai saukar ungulun ba amma bangaren sufurin jirgin saman Iran ya fuskanci kuma baya sakamakon takunkumin da Amurka ta sanyawa kasar
a fagen labarin wasanni kuwa Manchester United tana san akalla kashi 75 na fan miliyan 75 da tabiya wato brosha don montan dan wasan Ingla Jordan Sancho mai shekara 24 inda har club din na wato Bundesliga na bukatar sake sayen dan wasan Bayern Munich da Ajax na ce gaba da nazari akan irin tanhan mai shekara 54 yayin da suke sa ran cewa za a kore shi a matsayin kocin Manchester United a ƙarshen Kakarbana RB Leipzig ta gabatarwa dan wasan gaba wato Slaviana Benjamin mai shekara 20 sabuwar kwantara gin shekara 1 duk da cewa ana alakanta shi da komawa Arsenal kocin Tottenham wato Ange Postecoglou zai bada fifiko wajen siyan sabon dan wasan gaba yayin da yake shirin yuwa ta wagar yan wasan wato garan bahul to kuma da wannan rahoto na wasanni muka zo ƙarshen labarin namu ne amma kada ku manta kafin mu sallama da ku za ku iya ce gaba da bibiyan kadatun shi da shirye maka kafin sa da zumunta mu riskar a Facebook Twitter Instagram Rickens at Unity TV a madadin kowa da kowa musamman Hadiza Ahmed Hassan da ta ce mana labarin sai abokan aiki da suka sada da ku ni mu kulsa Abubakar Ibrahim da na Karanto muke cewa a ka sai ni lafiya bisalamu labaran duniya labaru da dumudumansu babu bangaranci cikin gida da kasashen waje <laughs>